answer questions from the media partners. Before we start our press conference, may we call on PIA Director General Undersecretary Jose A. Torres Jr. for his opening statement. Good morning. Magandang umaga sa lahat at maraming salamat muli sa uh, pagdating at pagsagot sa aming paanyaya na sumama dito sa ating weekly media briefing. Thank you very much. At kasama po natin today ang Philippine Amusement and Gaming Corporation or PAGPOR at uh, pinangunahan po ng uh, ating Vice President for Social Respons Responsibility Group si Sir Ramon Stephen Villaflor para pag-usapan natin ang mga prioridad ng PAGPOR at ang uh, gawain nito upang makatulong at tinatawag natin tawag sa mga kumpanya na corporate social responsibility. Also, one of the highlights of our discussion for this press con at alam kong interesado ang marami sa ating mga kasama at kaibigan ng mga photographers ay ang annual contest ng PACOR sa pagkuha ng larawan. They will share with us the result of the photography contest recently. And again, we would like to emphasize that PACOR has its corporate social responsibility na aside from their mandate to regulate gaming and revenue generation and to promote tourism through gaming, ang PADCOR ay nagsisilbi para sa ating mga kababayan makapagbigay ng oportunidad para makitaas ang antas ng kabuhayan ng ating mga kababayan, especially yung mga nangangailangan sa iba't ibang bahagi ng ating bansa. This press con is a chance to have deeper aspects, to look into the deeper aspects ng mandates ng, at programa ng PAGPO. Kaya sa ating lahat, sa inyong lahat, maraming salamat sa pagdalo at welcome again dito sa Philippine Information Agency. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Director General Jose A. Torres Jr. Before we start, we would also like to acknowledge our guests from PAGPOR, PAGPOR Vice President for Social Responsibility Group, Ramon Stephen Villaflor, who is also accompanied by Assistant Vice President for External Communications Department, Catalino Alana Jr., Assistant Vice President for Corporate Communications Department, Carmelita Valdez, Assistant Vice President for Community Relations and Services Department, Eric Balcos, and Senior Manager of Offshore Gaming, Licensing Department, Attorney Redfred Tan. Now, may we call on VE Ramon Stephen Villaflor for his message and to open our discussion. Good morning, everyone. On behalf of the Philippine Amusement and Gaming Corporation, we'd like to thank uh, the Philippine Information Agency for inviting us here today. To PIA Director General Jose e. Torres, Jr. and the entire PIL family, thank you for giving us an opportunity to use this platform to be seen and heard by Filipinos, especially those from the grassroots communities. Thus, further increasing public awareness on our core mandate and major contributions to nation building. I also wish to thank our major friends who are present in today's conference. I hope we can build a strong partnership to spread the good news about our work. Let me give you first a walkthrough on what PAGPOR is about. PAGPOR is a 100% government corporation under the office of the President of the Republic of the Philippines. It was created during the Marshall Law years by virtue originally of a presidential decree, 1067A, issued by then President Ferdinand Marcos. This um, presidential decree is a response to the calls for the Philippine government to put a stop to the growing proliferation of illegal gambling, casino operations in various parts of the country. The law creating PANCOR was later amended and consolidated under Presidential Decree 1869, otherwise known as the PAMCOR Charter. Under its charter, PAMCOR was given three-pronged mandate. First is to regulate, operate, authorize, and license games of chance, games of cards, and games of numbers 
particularly casino gaming in the Philippines. The second is to generate revenues for the Philippine government social, civic, and national development programs. And third, to help promote the Philippine tourism industry. Throughout its 40 years, PAGCO has been the government's third largest revenue contributor, next to the Bureau of Internal Revenue and the Bureau of Customs. It has been a staunch partner of the government in nation building by funding vital laws, contributing significantly to national coffers and reaching out to marginalized communities through its various social and civic programs. 50% of PAMCOR's income automatically goes to the National Treasury as part of its uh, contribution. Aside from the 50% government share, there are mandated contributions as enacted by Congress. This includes the Philippine Sports Commission and other laws. The following slides will show PAMCOR's other significant accomplishments and contributions to nation building. Aside from its mandated contribution, PANCOR continues to touch the lives of marginalized Filipinos through its own corporate social responsibility programs. One of these programs is the Relief Operations for Calamity Victims. Every year, destructive typhoons enter and rally the Philippines, causing millions of pesos, loss to damaged crops, infrastructure, and livelihoods. PAGCOR helps cushion the impact of these natural calamities by providing immediate help to affected families. Aside from distribution of emergency relief packs in disaster areas, the agency also provides financial aid to families of casualties. In 2022 alone, PAGCOR allocated 28.37 million for the purchase of food and non-food packs which were distributed to over 53,000 families in calamity stricken areas. This year, PAGCOR has provided immediate relief assistance to several calamity hit areas, including Aklan, Oriental Mindoro, the Bicol region, Metro Manila, Northern Luzon, and Central Luzon, affected by typhoons such as Egay, Falcon, and the other calamities. Recently, we donated relief items to Marikina City. As we all know, Marikina is always prone to flooding. One of the cities is prone to flooding whenever we have strong rains and typhoons. Balcor's multipurpose evacuation center was launched in 2019. This is the response of the government because of the continuous calamities that they have stricken our country every year. With 3.5 billion funding, the multi-purpose evacuation project was for the objective was to build typhoon resilient structures in various calamity prone areas nationwide. These structures can extend to wind velocity of up to 340 kilometers per hour. Pancor had three screen schemes depending on where it is located. As of August of this year, Multipurpose Evacuation Center has completed and inaugurated about 36 evacuation facilities in the different parts of the country. It is now 47% completed, and PANCOR has stopped allocating additional funding for the Multipurpose Evacuation Center. However, instead of the multi-purpose evacuation centers, PANCOR has earmarked our funds to new flagship corporate social responsibility projects. Specifically, one of those is the Social Civic Center. PANCOR continues to support the worthy causes and projects of other government agencies and local government units. These are some of the recipients of the agency's major financial grants this year. 
for coming, flagship corporate social responsibility projects were based on the directives of the, of the Office of the President and the Chairman of PAGCOR, Chairman Alejandro Tengo, that we should focus our CSR on education and health. Under the new administration, PAGCOR commits to continue its nation building initiatives by implementing these new flagship projects designed to provide long-term solutions and create lasting impacts on the life of ordinary Filipinos. These projects, which are now in its final stage, include the construction of school buildings for public schools nationwide, the e-learning center, community wellness centers, and the social civic center. As for the school building projects, PACOR hopes to help address the perennial need of classrooms in public, elementary, and secondary schools nationwide. All buildings will be equipped with storage rooms, toilets for male, female, and persons with disabilities. Currently, PACOR is its final stage of its discussion with the Department of Education regarding the final design and the needs of where to put up these classrooms. Another major project is the construction of e-learning centers nationwide. In this new age of virtual communication, PAGCOR seeks to provide learners with an environment that is conducive to e-learning and online research. These e-learning centers can be convertible to into e-libraries. PAGCOR will also build community wellness centers in different parts of the country to provide grassroots communities with easy access to very basic healthcare services. Each community wellness center will be equipped with a multi-purpose area, a vaccination room, dental clinic, doctor's office, treatment room, and administrative office in a kitchen area. Communities nationwide are, will also have state-of-the-art social civic centers where locals can have easy access to government services. These centers will feature a staged area, male, female, and PW toilets and bath, kitchen, dining area, maintenance room, a basketball court, an administrative office, a clinic, a multi-purpose area, among others. In February this year, PAGCOR revived its nationwide photography contest for amateur and professional photographers after six years of hiatus. This year's team is Saan Tayo Next. It was designed to highlight the unadulterated yet equally beautiful places in the Philippines with huge tourism potential. Tourism is one of the mandates of PAGCOR. And the purpose of this photography contest is to discover unexplored areas which could be used for tourism and be future designations for tourists. The competition successfully culminated last September 13 with the announcement of the grand winners from both the conventional and mobile categories. All 5,407 entries that we received were through a rigorous screening process with some of the most prominent photographers in the country serving as panel judges. Today, we will also be showing and sharing with everyone the 24 grand winners of PAGCOR's 2023 photo competition. 12 conventional category winners won trophies, certificates, and 80,000 pesos each. While the 12 mobile category winners got 35,000 prize money. All of these grand winners will be featured in PAMCOR's 2024 
calendar. We now present the 12 grand winners for the mobile category. Thank you. This ends our presentation and we wish to thank TIA for this opportunity. Thank you and good morning. Thank you. Thank you, Pancor VP for Social Responsibility Group, Ramon, Stephen, with your floor. <coughs> we now open the floor for question, questions from our media partners. You may use the microphones in front of you. Kindly state your name.
Thank you, Pastor VP for Social Responsibility Group, Ramon Stephen Villaflor. We now open the floor for questions from our media partners. You may use the microphones in front of you. Kindly state your name and the media organization you represent and who you would like to address the question to. We also request media partners to limit their questions in the interest of time and avoid asking questions outside the scope of Pat Force agenda for this press briefing. Good morning, Paul. I'm Jimmy Lacombe, Filipino Star Nayon. Meron po ba tayong data, sir, from Pop4 regarding pa dun sa relief assistance ng Pop4 for the year 2023? Sa nine months po na ginawa yung relief assistance, ilan po ang families po kate ang na nag-benefit, sir? And how much uh, fund na po ang nailabas ng Pop4 for the relief assistance for nine months? Uh, we don't we don't actually have the exact figures, but we have already delivered more than fifty thousand uh, relief packs uh, in regions one, the central zone, uh, the Visayas. Those affected especially by typhoons, Edai, and Falcon. But uh, if you want, we can provide the, the exact figures. Thank you. Hello, po. Paano po yung selection ng pagbibili ng financial aid? Nag-questro po kayo sa LGU. Paano po yung selection? The selection is based on the reports that we get from the Office of the Civil Defense. So, if an area is declared as a calamity area, and then um, whether it um, relief are being requested by the LGUs or not, we provide them with uh, with uh, relief assistance, both food and non-food. I also want to mention that uh, we have continuously provide uh, relief for the ongoing eruption in Mayon. We still have um, evacuees for the past two, two months, and uh, Mayon has uh, continuously been erupted. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Uh, Eunice Salario, Filipino Hero. Uh, Nabanggit niyo po kanina na uh, since 2019, nag-build po kayo mga evacuation center. Ito po ba mga 36 evacuation center? Ito po yung simula ng kasi. Yes. Um, the, the program is started in 2019. Unfortunately, nagkaroon tayo ng pandemic in 2020. So, na-delay the start of the construction. But even with the pandemic, uh, we started uh, going around and distributing funds and started the construction by the end of 2020. So, we had some restrictions in going to the provinces. Kaya medyo na-delay. And uh, besides the funding because of the by the hand to build as one app, um, where the funds of government corporation was channeled to address the, the COVID-19 response. So um, the funds was uh, made a little bit restricted. So hindi kagad nag start, although it was originally um, approved in 2019. Uh, sir, kumusta na po ito? Bali kompleto na po itong Texas Innovation Center na po? Yes, um, ginagamit na nila yung, yung 36 evacuation centers. Uh, we have, um, that is already 47% of the total number of evacuation centers that we have uh, funded. We have, um, we are supposed to inaugurate um, those who have been completed. Unfortunately, ngayon na start yung election ban. So we cannot uh, inaugurate because it will be possible. Yes. Uh, since we have been talking about the pandemic, we have been talking about the pandemic. How do you feel about the funds that we have been allocated? Do you feel that it's been a long time? Do you feel that it's been a long time? Do you feel that it's been a long time? Do you feel that it's been a long time? Do you feel that it's been a long time? Yung, yung 3.5 billion was the total amount approved 
and uh, we distributed um, this to the different NGOs to begin the beneficiaries of the multi-purpose evacuation center projects. Uh, the, the, um, the budget for the scheme three is 50 million. And uh, the scheme two, the focusing scheme now in the scheme two is 27.9 million and then 12.7 million for the for scheme one. This has already been dispersed to the different uh, municipalities uh, and they've started um, constructing in 2021. So, because of the restrictions brought by the pandemic, may look at sila, may do not delay in the constructions. How about naman po yung second topic po na sinabi po ninyo na yung mga e-learning center, mga schools, kumusta naman po yung kasama po ba yung sa 3.5 billion o ibang allocation po yun? The the school buildings, the e-learning centers will be the new projects, project projects of Pacor. Tapos na kami dun sa evacuation center and then we will be focusing on um, four different projects. Kasama yung school buildings at saka yung e-learning centers. Separate, separate funding. Sir, last na lang po sa follow-up po sa question ni Ms. Angie. Nabanggit po ninyo yung mga natulungan po ninyo sa relief operation is from hanggang Falcon. How about po yung mga sumulat po na bago? Recently, may mga inalat po kayong tulong para sa mga ito. Yung recently kasi habagat eh. Yun ang binigyan namin ang marikina ng relief dahil lumukog. And then several of the residents of Marikina were brought to evacuation centers. Kaya doon kami nagbigay both food and non-food. Pag sinabi non-food kasi, ito yung mga kulambu, mga chinelas, kumo, toiletries, ito yung mga non-food natin. Thank you very much. Thank you. Meron din recently pala sa farm, yung Bacolod and Bago City na lumubog din because of the recent kapasang. Kapasama po sila sa... Sir, sa photography naman po, kailan po na simula ng ano? Contest. Sa photo, sa photo contest po, kailan po ito nagsimula ng ano? Pakontest po ninyo? Can I turn over to to the game of this, siya kasi yung pano, siya yung prime mover of the photography contest. Good morning. Good morning sa mga kaibigan natin sa media. So many familiar faces. Nakasama ko po ito. Ako yung mong nakay reporter. Good morning po sa inyo lahat. Nagumpos na po itong ating photo contest ng pong February 15. Doon po tayo nagsimula na tumanggap sa mga entries. So, from February 15 hanggang sa July 31, umabot ng 5,407 yung mga entries na natanggap namin. Na nakikita, nakita naman po natin kung gaan pa maganda itong mga uh, spots o well, posibing tourist spots na napuna ng ating mga magagaling ng photographer. Na namakali kami dahil sa dami ng entries na to, nalaman natin na ganun pala karami yung mga magaganda pa na hindi na didiscovery para maging uh, tourist spot na aking uh, bansa. Salamat. Good morning po, Vivian Julia from ABS-CBN. Sir, um, just a clarification, um, ano, ano po yung mga social services na ng PACO na naapektuhan nito ng election time on spending? At um, if you can enumerate po yung major ones at saka po kung at magkano yung halaga na ito. At uh, meron po bang plano ang backboard to seek exemption from the comments? Actually, we will file um, before the deadline for the filing of exemption na file na kami so that we can continue our projects. Uh, kasi for example, ngayon with the ban, pag may calamity, hindi kami makapag-distribute. So ito yung mga mostly... Pos, uh, makikita namin na uh, effect sa amin. 
and that there are other targets. For example, the continuation of, um, of uh, the existing projects where we release funds in tranches. Kasi may mga kwanya, may mga kategory yan based on the regulations of COA. So, hindi namin pwede ibigay yung funds at uh, the, the total amount. So, we, depending on the percentage of their completion, we release the funds. So, the direction ban, uh, humingi kami ng exemption so that the projects will be not be disrupted. Especially for relief. The Mayon is uh, ongoing and uh, we anticipate uh, more uh, typhoons that will enter the country. The election ban will be up to the end of uh, October. So, we have a lot of months to go. We have to say that we are going to be in the power because of the election. Well, the legal department of Pangkor has filed the exemption, I think, two weeks ago. Wala pa kami ng status report from whether it was counted or not. In terms of yung mga projects po na mag-ilipin, mga ilipin, hindi ba para kahit rock estimate? For the evacuation centers, we still have more than 30 evacuation centers na hindi pa ongoing yung yung construction of 40, 41, 41 ongoing. And um, some of those have uh, submitted uh, the required documents for the release of the uh, second or third tranche. Pero we cannot process them because of the election plan. So I was seeking uh, exemption. Also, you mentioned that Pacquer is the third largest revenue contributor uh, in the Gobierno. Um, update lang po sa revenues ng Pacquer. Is it continuously increasing? How is it for the first um, nine months of the year? As announced by the President during the, the SONA, um, compared to the 2022, which is uh, still during the pandemic uh, era, Pancor has increased its revenues by about 47%. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, 50% of our income after deducting the franchise tax goes to the National Treasury to support uh, the funds for the appropriation. And also 50% of the Pancor share goes automatically for the universal health care. Pacor has, uh, has uh, amended or revised its um, new regulatory framework. Uh, Pacor is in constant uh, communication or coordination with the different uh, enforcement agencies like the NDI, the ICT, uh, the, the PNP, and other, uh, the DOJ, as well as uh, the DILG to counter um, itong mga tamo websites. Thank you. 
yung 24 winners na grand winners, um, ano po yung mga naging basya natin para mag-alaman? Uh, criteria. Criteria, yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. May separate group kasi sa PACOR that is uh, doing this. And um, ang focus namin, we are, we are not part of the operations and uh, the regulations uh, groups of PACOR. So um, we don't usually get information for the purpose kasi we are fo we focused more on the CSR projects of PACOR. Sir, and good morning, I'm Ron Abad from Business Mirror. Um, so, Sir Ramon, um, you mentioned about your flagship, upcoming flagship programs. Uh, would you mind to give us an idea as regards to the client for your Kailan po sisimula at yung ano pong expectation mga tapos, Kailan mga tapos, at magkano po yung, yung kailangan budget doon? At meron na po ba kayo identified areas for the four projects? Itong projects that will be launched on the last quarter of this year. With regards to the areas, for example, for the school buildings, uh, we are still in coordination with the, with the DepEd. Uh, DepEd has what they call the needs-based list. So um, we will determine uh, how this will be implemented, which part of the, of the country will be implemented by DepEd, and which uh, part, what which schools will be implemented by Pancor. So we're still in close coordination, especially for the for the um, e-learning centers and the classrooms. For the other projects, uh, we're still uh, evaluating the request <coughs> from uh, the different um, NGOs from the different agencies. Um, hindi naman kasi once that they request the projects, we automatically um, list them as part of our priority. Marami mga factors like, for example, uh, we have to prove we have to prove the ownership of the land they owned by the locality. Is the space uh, available, uh, suited? Marami mga nagre-request, but when we inspect the identified area, kulang yung or mali yung sukat. When we, when we said that we need about 3,000 square meters, Meron sila 5,000, pero yung size parang pahama. Hindi naman suited for the structure na itatayo ng pangkos. 
Sir, follow up question. Yung follow up question lang po. Magkano po yung allotted na budget ng PACOR this year for the social services? And uh, patuloy po yung pagtaas ng inflation. Uh, hindi po ba siya na-apekto sa inyong mga uh, servisyo? And because of the inflation, may posibilidad po bang tumaas yung allotted uh, budget niyo sa social services for next year? For the social services, um, for the social services, uh, as if we have the flagship projects and we have the, the other services, for the flagship projects, for the four flagship projects that I mentioned, it's about 4.5 billion for this year. And then we will review uh, the, the, um, the, the, uh, the price increase uh, and then evaluate it and then uh, propose uh, maybe a higher budget for next year. Uh, it will depend on the, on the increase in the construction materials. Oh, Jimmy. Sir, I want to ask Jimmy Mendoza from Sunshine Radio. Because I know what I've seen in the video of the good things. Do you have a part of the country to use the infrastructure so that we can use the infrastructure? kung uwa sa ating bansa para tayo sa mga nanalo. Kasi talagang naman po natin yung mga nakaraang mga one-way trade yung DOT dahil ang ginamit nila mga ibang mga bansa na lumabas doon sa uh, mga TV. Ito ba ang papagamit ba na pagkakto sa iba yung ito mga tulisim? Pwede kayo yung pang-printer about this? Yes, thank you. Uh, we will be coordinating with the Department of Tourism. Well, as of now, ang usapan pa lang namin is with all the ano, National Museum. Meron na uh, usapan, pinag-usapan na we will, the National Museum will exhibit the winners sa kanilang mga properties in Mindanao. Uh, like in Ilo, Bacolod, and Dapang. So, uh, initially, yun pa lang ang talks ngayon. But definitely, magkakaroon po tayo ng uh, coordination for the Department of uh, Tourism will be um, in coordinating with PACOR para po ma may uh, promote pa itong mga photos na ito sa mga site. Ano yung magpipiliin pa o kasi makita ko mga maganda naman lahat eh. Opo. 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 Wala kang itatapo talaga mga ipinda natin. Wala naman po kami pinagkakano na pagpipiliin pa. Definitely lahat po yan ay ipopromote po natin. Para makapagtangi kahit pa tayo ng mga layuhan kasi alam naman natin, no, ng Department of Tourism, pumalpak sila sa kanilang mga sinuwa, no? Hindi naman naman trade to, totoo naman ang nangyayari. Pero mas kailangan natin talaga kung hindi ka na nasinala ang ating turismo dito sa bansa dahil ang dahil ko lang mga magagandang mga lugar ang Pilipinas na hindi na pa kanoon. Tama po kayo dyan. Kaya talaga kailangan po natin na may promote po talaga ito ng mga lugar na ito. At, um, Although yung iba po dyan din napupuntahan na, pero hindi alam ng ibang ka, like yung sinasabi nila sa uh, rice terraces, ang akala nila yung nag-iisa na rin sa nanarice terraces. Marami po pala, pala tayong rice terraces dito sa, sa ating bansa. Doon po sa tanong ko kanina, doon po sa criteria, ako, ang mga criteria po is ito, adherence to team content, 20% po yun. Composition, 20% then creativity and originality, 20%, image quality, 20%, at yung emotional impact, 20%. Yun po ang ano eh, uh, para sa akin yung emotional impact talagang na, nakakagaan at ano uh, ng loob dahil sa rin na marami ko palang magagandang lugar dito sa ating bansa na hindi pa nadidiscover. Very, very proud po ang pagkos sa sa kontes sa programa ko ito. Ayan, nakatulong ko tayo para kahit promote ko yung mga lugar na hindi pa ang nakikilang. Pwede ko ba ang pwede ko ba ang pwede ko ba ang mga pwede na mag-adapt isang area o isang tourist destination na sinasabi mo nga po na dapat na ma-explore pa ng mga Pilipino 
at ang activity ng sarili natin na uh, uh, mga tourist spot kaysa magtungong magtungong sa mga bansa. Um, Pagbili ko ba kayo na, na, na uh, i-explore or i-develop yung isa pong uh, area at anong area po ito? Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes. Posible po. Posible mo na tayo sa ma-explore. Dahil ang factor na talaga ay eh, kasama sa mandate ay eh, pagtulong ko sa promotion of our tourism dito sa bansa. So, posible po ma magkaroon ng ganyan. Siyempre, meron po tayong tinatawag na um, budgeting, yung mga rin po. Pag-uusapan din po na. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, ma'am. Uh, yes, sir. I'm Mr. Almar from uh, Hato uh, Tabloid Paper. Uh, with regards sa mga tulong po, uh, big fans na pinababaan nyo sa LG with, uh, at sa mga iba't ibang proyekto nila, do you do mo monitoring on how do they use the fan? Yung ino-audit nyo ba sila? At kung meron kayo, kung sakali, kung meron man kayo, ino-audit nyo, meron ba kayo ng na huli o a local government na hindi ginamit mabuti yung ponto at anong sanction ang ginawa? Um, we have the usual inspection team. When um, for the 24 hours evacuation center, we release 50% of them. And then when they request and approve that um, compliance sila ng 50%, for the construction stage, we send our informed inspectors. Even if, as a requirement now it is, the 50% completion should be certified by the resident COA. So in the audit of the COA. So this is one of the, the basic uh, checks and balances that uh, we have. And then, in spite of the certification of the COA, we have to the COA to determine kung may mga misinformation dun sa kanilang reports. We have already had encountered two areas yun na namin siguro identify na nagkaroon ng problem na ulit ng instruction. So, I think the contractor was penalized and nagkaroon ng repeating, retrofitting dito sa areas at nakakaroon ng problem kasi hindi hindi na follow the the terms and conditions of the program report. Thank you. Uh, sir, uh, sa panagbat, tungkol dito po sa, kasi uh, pumasok na po kayo sa education eh. Uh, so, dito na uh, planin niya ng pagtayo ng mga school buildings. Meron na. Uh, wala po pong narinig na uh, scholarship program um, yung school buildings, siguro, um, just for information, we have started constructing school buildings in 2010, or I think, or 2011. Unfortunately, during the time of uh, the previous secretary of um, the DEFM, sumulat siya sa amin, and then she said that she will not, um, she will not accept any funds coming from the court. Yes. So, natigil lahat yung aming programs for for education, including the feeding programs of my family, and then the other support that we give to the DEF, natigil lahat. And then now, with the new administration, uh, tinutuloy na namin yung dati namin yung dati. With regards to the scholarship, with regards to the scholarship, I want to turn over to the Vice President, Assistant Vice President for Community Relations. Good morning po. Ngayon po, pinag-aaralan namin mabuti yung pagkakaroon po ng scholarship program. We're in close coordination po with SHED. Last week lang po, nagpaguti kami sa additional higher education. Nag-consulta po kami on how to go about the scholarship program. So, early stages pa lang po yung aming pag-aaral. Malalaman nyo naman po yun pag ano. Uh, hopefully, tutuloy namin yun at ang implementation malalaman nyo po. Pari mabalit po si Pang Brickman. Mabalit po po kasi yung mga... Pang Brickman. 
Kapitan, nanonood sa po ni Sir Ramon kanina, uh, naka, yung mga nanonood sa protocol test, nakatanggap ng pass at uh, certificate. Alam mo, hindi ba kasama dyan yung uh, mga kailangan dyan, GTR, digital camera? Hindi ba kasama? Alam mo, alam, alam, mga gamit? O, oh, mga gamit, mga gamit, mga gamit, mga gamit, mga gamit, mga Digital camera? Yes, pwede. Pwede one of the prices. Uh, kasi ito pong sa susunod nating uh, protocol, talagang i-refine po natin ito. Dadagdagan po ang prices, dadagdagan po ang categories. So, kusip po, we, uh, we'll take note of that, na yung prices po yung accessories, ano, ng mga, mga photographers, like cameras. Yes, pwede po yan. Madagdag po lang, natanong kasi kanina po, ang pagkor eh, may plano mag-adapt ng isa dito sa mga Side na ito, ano? Oh, kasi yung mga katagrafer natin, yun ang pinakakasawa nila eh. Yes. Uh, sa pagtulog, sa pag-iisip kami ng hawa ko. Pero sabi nga nung ibang katagrafer, ba't walang kamera na kasawa doon sa pagkakasawa? Pero ang kamera na sa pagkakasawa. Vintage. 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 Ano ng hapon? Ito eh, sa pagkakasawa sa mga mga digital kamera na yun. Di ba sa mga loob? Di ba? Papakakontest rin naman kayo. Lubos, lubosin mo. No? Para mas matuwa yung mga kameraman natin. First price, 10 million. I agree, I agree. Pusito po natin, pusito po mangyari. Mami, tinatanong si, si, tinatanong na, papanong, dito ba ako kayo kukuha ng best writer na para manalo rin? Salamat po. Back destination. Thank you. Yung natanong kanina na kung pwedeng mag-adapt ang platform ng mga tourist pass. Ito lang recently kung maalala mo. Meron pong in-inaugurate na hindi naman na siya bagong tourist pass. Ito sa Baguio. In cooperation with Bloomberry Foundation. Napaganda po itong ride park dito sa Baguio dahil nagkaroon siya ng tinatawag na Like music, ano, water, fountain, music, and night show. Yes. So may madma, may dadagdag sa mga papasyalan natin sa Baguio. Pasyalan po niyo, napakaganda po ng proyekto na yan. In cooperation with the Bloomberry Foundation at Falcon. Nagustanin po ng pwersa para po mapaganda ka lalo yung site niyo. Mga may iba pa rin na kalahin mo kami o para makita na mga siya sa mga. So, ito pala natin naman si Sir Ramon. Ito ang talaga, Jimmy, ha? Kasi pinita niyo naman. Kasi patulad ko lang yun sa TV ka, hapon, eh, pinita. Kaya ako, pagkakalit. Para mas masaya rin na masaya kami. Yes. Pagdadalay mo kami ron. Kaya may pagkakal naman naman sa sa Baguio eh, di ba? Mas masakit kayo kung mag-ayon. Wala. Actually, wala kami pa. Wala pa tayo kung ano saan. Eh, si Sir Ramon ay bahala sa amin. You will now be able to entertain one last question. Yes. Kung sa minabang ko si... Ito na lang kayo. Ayan. From PWIC, Mas Jokel Pereño. Yes. May nabang ko kasi dito sa nalis na ni Chairman Tenko na six years daw po ito na nakulat ko ang photo contest. Opo, ano po yung dahilan? Annually. Annually po siya. Kaya mo ka lang sa Kubo? Dahil ano po yung dahilan bakit po natigil dito po ng photo contest at ngayon lang po dahil po ito. Ah, yes. Oo, nag-umpisa yung photo contest po ang 2013 na during the time of Chairman Nadias. Hanggang ginagawa po yung 2016. Natigil siya ng 2016. Tuloy-tuloy pa ba sila? Ako. Hindi lang namin na ituloy yan before dahil hindi naging naisama sa ating bio na ginagawa na project. But tatlong pinaglanong din namin na ito ang 2023. Hindi lang masyado na and then nagkaroon mga itong na nahudlot talaga. Kaya masaya kami at naibalik ito. So, minimum, tataas na po yung prices at magkakaroon na mga kamera. Apo. Tuwa-tuwa po kami, Chairman, si Chairman Altenco, na sa success po nitong photo contest nito. Kaya tataasan po natin ang mga premyo at dadagdagan po ang ating bonus. Salamat po.
Kanina po may sinabi kayo na tumutulong mo kayo sa evacuate. Yung po pang evacuation center nyo, meron po kayo sa Bicol. Kayo po ang umaalalay doon, sir? Marami kaming Bicol kasi alam nyo ng Bicol, ito yung port of entry na mga bagyo. So, along the, along the, the eastern seaboard, uh, nakapokus yung aming concentrate yung aming evacuation centers. Uh, Aurora, Quezon, the Bicol region, uh, Samar, Leite, ito kasi yung yung saan po ang paso. And for our final question. Uh, sir, yun rin mo na po sa Uriyan na yung video hosting. So, parang mga yung Vice President ko kaya Flor, anong plastic po yung presto ng Contributions of power to the national government since the creation of power. We have only actual figures, and you know, we don't have the actual figures. So, automatic, because the plan is, the mandate is from the gross income of power. Fifty percent automatic for passing to the national treasury. And then, aside from the, the contributions that we give to the National Treasury, may mga pinasa na patas ang Congress na we fund, like for example, the Early Years Act, yung Philippine um, International Museum, Philippine sa, sa Philippine Sports Commission, PhilHealth, uh, Maraming Board of Claims, and then ngayon, um, yung uh, Space, Development Act, Dangerous Drugs Board. So, um, many, many laws being passed by Congress in a child sa backward. So, it will be very difficult for us to compute the total contributions now. Mr. Chairman, this concludes our open forum with Pagford. With that, we will ask for closing statements from our PIA Director General, Jose A. Collins Jr., and Pagford VP for Social Responsibility Group, Ramon Stephen Villaflor. Thank you very much, sa lahat naman sa mga sa media, at maraming salamat sa ating mga kaibigan mula sa Pagford, especially si Vice President Ramon Villaflor for discussing Pagford's programs and for providing context to us about the uh, activities and projects that Patrick has in the, especially in the communities na nakatulong sa ating mga kababayan. We will continue to communicate government initiatives to stakeholders in partnership with media and partner agencies in order to help give a better understanding of government programs. Kaya inaasahan po namin na patuloy kayo mga kasama namin sa ating weekly media briefing. Maraming salamat po. Uh, of course, we want to thank uh, the public the Philippine Information Agency for giving us the opportunity to present the other side of Pakpor. Pakpor is known only for gambling usually, but uh, I think this is a very good opportunity for us to look at the other side and the contributions of power uh, to the national government, especially those affected by the disasters, the calamities, and the projects that, uh, and the people that will benefit because of the different projects of power. Kaya maraming salamat and um, sa PIA, and I think this will be the start of a very good uh, partnership so that we can uh, further inform the public of what Banco is all about, aside from its operations as a team of the operator and the regulator. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Director General.